Welcome to the 19th episode of Capsule. Let's consume, learn, and excel. A digital series dedicated to enrich your understanding about quality concepts at Tata Steel. Quite often at our workplace, we face many repetitive issues and problems. This is because we do not eliminate the root cause of those problems. One of the ways to identify the root cause of a given problem is by using YY analysis. And this is our topic today. The YY analysis technique was developed by Sekichi Toyoda, a Japanese inventor and industrialist. This technique is an integral part of the Toyota production system. It is one of the most effective tools for finding the root cause of any problem. It helps in pinpointing the exact cause of the problem, or in short, why the problem occurred in first place. Now let us understand how a YY technique is used. Once a problem has been identified, we drill down to find the root cause by asking multiple times why. The answers to these why leads to the root cause of the said problem. Generally, after five whys, we get the root cause of the problem. But that is not the case every time. Depending upon the type, design, cost, etc. of the setup, the number of why can be less or more than five. There are also cases of nested why why analysis, where a problem may have multiple intermediate causes. On performing YY on these multiple intermediate reasons, the analysis leads to a common root cause. Now let us understand the YY analysis with the help of an example. Let's take a scenario. A maintenance expert while performing inspection in a control room, slips and falls on the floor. The control room floor is slippery because of the presence of water on it. Now as you can see the problem is, there is a pool of water on the floor. Now we start asking. Why is there a pool of water on the floor? The answer could be, because the overhead pipe is leaking. Then we ask, why the overhead pipe is leaking? The answer is, because there is too much of water pressure in the pipe. Then we ask again, why is there too much of water pressure in the pipe? And the answer is, because there is faulty control valve. Now we again ask, why is there faulty control valve? And the answer is, because the control valves have not been tested. On asking again, why the control valves have not been tested, we get the answer, because the control valves are not included in the maintenance schedule, which is the root cause of the problem. So as shown in the example, how by using YY technique we were able to reach the root cause of the problem. Now let us see when we have to stop asking why, or simply when to stop YY analysis. While using this technique, we can stop asking why during the given circumstances. When the reverse becomes a solution, when we have reached to the controllable parameters, while asking why we reach the system levels, and lastly when there is no possible why to the previous why. Why why analysis is a very simple, yet effective method to identify the root causes of a given problem. It helps to establish step by step, repeatable process to implement practical solutions, identify barriers, and the causes of the problem. Thus helps in finding a durable solution. Develop logical approach to problem solving. Using existing organizational data. Identifies current and future needs for organizational improvement. But it has a few drawbacks also. Like, this method can only be as good as the knowledge and experience of the people using it. By this method we may not dive deep enough. To uncover the root cause of the problem entirely. In this method depending upon the approach. The user may follow the wrong Y branch which may lead to a wrong cause becoming the root cause. Thus the problem won't get solved properly. We hope that this episode has helped you to brush up the concepts on YY analysis. Share, comment and like the episode. Stay tuned for further episodes.